Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to ACS Sneakers. My name is Aiden. As you can tell from the title of this video, we're doing something completely different. We're breaking the norm and I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about my experience when I got my COVID jab. But before we get into that, I want to welcome back my returning viewers and 20 new viewers. Welcome to the channel. We do release brand new sneaker content every single week. So if that is of interest to you, do make sure to smash that subscribe button. Also, make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the intro. So I do want to say right off the bat that this video is not intended to say to you guys whether you should or shouldn't get the COVID vaccine. I just wanted to share with you guys my experience and you know how I feel after having it. Uh, everybody's experiences are probably going to be very different. So just because I feel a certain way doesn't mean that that will be the experience for you. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit more about me besides the sneakers we normally review. Um, and it is something that's really important and something that definitely deserves to be talked about. So just to kind of give you guys a little bit more of the actual timeline of, of you know me actually having the vaccine and how I'm feeling right now. Um, so I went in for my AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine on Friday the 19th of March at around midday. Now going in for this vaccine I was really nervous. I've read all the stories in the, in the media about potential blood clots and just potential health issues after actually having it. Now at the time you know before I actually went in for the vaccine I was feeling like should I even get it? You know is this going to be beneficial for me? Am I actually going to be worse off actually having had it? Uh, so there were lots of things going through my mind before I actually went in for the vaccine. Um, but after speaking to, you know, some family members and some friends, you know, we kind of got to this, the, the point where the, the pros outweigh the negatives. And it would definitely be in my best interest to actually go for this vaccine just because I can't risk getting COVID. Um, in general, I'm pretty, you know, pretty well off. I don't really get ill too often. But, you know, as you can see, I'm a pretty big guy. So I don't really want to be catching COVID. Uh, I definitely feel like it would have a lot of adverse effects on somebody like myself. So I went in for the jab at around midday. I didn't get any of the symptoms right off the bat. was absolutely fine, you know, early afternoon. But as we went through the later afternoon into the evening, that's when the side effects started to show themselves. So initially, I got a really hot sensation down my left arm where I actually had the vaccine. Um, I started to feel really sick, started to get headaches and I just felt really lethargic so I actually went to bed early. But fast forward overnight into the early hours of the morning uh, when I actually tried to roll over onto my left arm it was a no go and I just felt really uncomfortable um, and right the way throughout today I've just felt completely unlike myself. I've not had any energy, been feeling really tired, feeling really sick, um, almost kind of like flu-like symptoms, you know I had a headache um and i just really felt pretty crappy to be completely honest it is kind of to be expected because whenever i've had any standard flu jabs i really don't feel myself after that those either um i wouldn't say i feel completely unwell to the point i've stopped doing all my normal things like you know the fact i'm recording this video now and this video is actually on the back of recording a different video as well um but it's just something that like you know, I felt like it was worth mentioning that fact that the symptoms for me were quite mild. Um, I'm hoping I don't get any blood clots. I'm hoping that there's no future issues, you know, over the next few weeks. But in general, I feel pretty crappy. Uh, I do expect that that's going to pass in the next couple of days. That's pretty much what I'm hearing from other people. So that's just pretty much how I'm feeling as of right now. You know, as of right now, I'm still feeling a little bit weak, a little bit lethargic and not completely myself. Um, but I'm definitely glad that I had it. I'm definitely glad that I'm able to share my little experience about it. And if anything changes in terms of how I feel, in terms of how, you know, whether, whether my thoughts change about, you know, was it a good thing or a bad thing, I'll definitely continue to share, you know, my personal experience with you guys. But I just wanted to do a really short video to explain to you guys that I've had my COVID vaccine. This isn't to say that you should or shouldn't have it, uh, but I've had mine. I'm definitely going to be getting the second dose and... You know, I'm hopeful that this is going to be the first step on, you know, a very few steps to actually get back to normal life. I think I can speak for a lot of people when I say that I'm sick of living in lockdown. Things are starting to get a little bit better in the UK and hopefully that'll be the same for the rest of the world. But if you guys have actually had your COVID vaccine as well, I want to hear what your guys' experiences have been like. So do make sure to 
do make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you stuck around to this point in the video, I want to say a massive thank you. If you haven't already, please make sure to smash that subscribe button. Also, make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you all again in the next one.